Mr. Nagananda, will you please give us a short summary in English for our English viewers, please? Okay. Thank now, you. The, the court is of the view that there is no basis to grant leave to proceed for this application. The basis uh, for, I mean, the initiating this application is that uh, Rani Vikramasinghe failed to the United National Party failed to comply uh, and to comply with the requirement as set out in the Article 99A. Article 99A of the Constitution require the political party, once it is uh, uh, communicated to the party by the Election Commission, to give the name within a matter of one week, nominate the person concerned within a matter of one week. That is stipulated in the Article 99. Whereas this party failed to give a name and they waited for 10 months. That's a clear violation of the Constitution. Right? Now, if you come before court for violation of fundamental rights, you are required to come within 30 days. If you come after 35 days, your application will be dismissed. The same thing shall apply here. But what the court held, but it looks like court held that there is no basis to grant leave to proceed. No? So court is because the Attorney General argue that 35, the one, one week business is only mandatory. So mandatory means you can go even one week, maybe five months or ten months like that. That's the way the Attorney General interpret interprets it. But I interpreted the way you have to strictly enforce the rule of law. Yeah. Rule of law is very specifically say one week. If you Stipulate fail to give your frame. week, huh? Stipulate a time yeah, exactly. frame. Exactly. If you fail to do so, then you forfeit your right to nominate a person within one week. Okay? And there was another allegation, I mean, level again, the petitioner by the Attorney General, that the petitioner has come to court late. Which is not the case. This application was made to court, furnished to the court more than a year ago. But it was delayed only yesterday only the matter was taken up for support for the first time. So therefore, petitioner rejects that argument completely. It is not the fault of the petitioner. The Supreme Court must take the full responsibility for delaying the proceeding. Okay, the application was furnished more than a year ago. Right? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.